Hi, I'm Nicole Ferguson, Registered Dietitian and Diabetes Educator at the Diabetes and Nutrition Center at Health and Alliance Hospital. Our topic today is about a sweetener called high fructose corn syrup, which oddly enough isn't that high in fructose. It's more closely related to a sweetener called sucrose, or as we know it, table sugar. They're both made up of glucose and fructose, but high fructose corn syrup has slightly more fructose to it. We know many of the foods that contain high fructose corn syrup, like soft drinks, other drink mixes, like hot chocolate, breads, and highly processed foods. But some of the places might not be so obvious, like pasta sauces, peanut butter, and protein bars. Food manufacturers use high fructose corn syrup because it's cheap, it extends the shelf life of food, it creates softer textures in our baked products, and it prevents freezer burn. Our intake of high fructose corn syrup has increased about 1,000% in the past 30 years. Studies are looking to see if high fructose corn syrup has a relationship with our increase in weight. Studies are showing that fructose doesn't cause the same level of fullness and satiety that other complex carbohydrates do. Fructose also decreases the release of leptin and insulin, two hormones that impact appetite. Although researchers are hesitant to blame high fructose corn syrup completely and say that it's more on our intake of overall sugars and our decrease in activity levels. The USDA recommends no more than 10 teaspoons of sugar a day and limiting high fructose corn syrup to 10% of this intake. Be careful though, don't limit your intake of fruit and vegetables that have natural fructose. These food items are high in fiber, antioxidants, and vitamins and minerals. If you're interested in making a nutrition or lifestyle change, ask your physician for a referral to see us at the Diabetes and Nutrition Center at Health Alliance Hospital. If you have any questions, be sure to call us at 978-466-4580.